Good morning. Well, it is going to be a rainy start to this morning. I need to go get the excavator loaded up on the trailer so I can take it back tomorrow. I had a few things I needed to finish up <clears throat> that I didn't get finished yesterday before I uh, called it a day. But man, it's been freaking raining hard since last night at about 10, 30, 11. I haven't been to the property yet this morning. But I'm sure it's pretty muddy. So I'm not looking forward to that as well as loading it on the trailer. So, man, I don't even know if my truck will be able to get the trailer off the uh, driveway. <laughs> We're going to find that one out. And I'll be sure to put all that stuff up next. But in the meantime, take a look at uh, this guy over here. That was what the storm rolled in at yesterday. And, man, it's gloomy outside. I, I just wanted to do some work today, but... It is what it is. Out of the property, the sun's out. Guns out. Just kidding. <laughs> Guns. <laughs> we don't have those type of things over here on the wild and free. No. We're God loving, believing in, you know, that kind of stuff. So it stormed real bad last night. Well, it, it was more thunder, more lightning, a lot of that stuff. So I figured I'd come out here. And take a look see because i gotta load the excavator up right like we talked about here a minute ago so there is some water that's sitting and i wanted to look at my roads and see how much washout that we may or may not have gotten with that so with that being said let's see if i can turn this thing around turn around So, I don't see any real washout right here, which is a good sign. Real good sign. But, I need to eventually do something a little different and make sure that I've got a berm. So, inside this green landscape filled ditch, we'll call it. It's pretty washed. I mean, I don't want to take the vegetation away because that'll allow water to get in there and flush through and wash it out even more. So we're not going to mess with that. The wind's blowing and making it rain again from the treetops. But what I wanted to see was right over here, there's a spot with a little hole and it doesn't look like anything washed through. I did put that rock there. But we're gonna be able to tell based off of the road gravel. Oh, the leaves are starting to change, saw something weird. I didn't put my muck boots on yet. I'm just walking out here for a minute. The folks from the RV park are gonna cook a nice breakfast, so I'm gonna go have some nice food and then I'll come back over here, get the excavator, get the trailer loaded up. Here's This is the hard part. I am going to be struggle bussing probably. This is all just muddy dirt. So I'm going to let it dry up a little bit more before I come back out. I'll give it a couple hours. It's about 930 right now. See if it can't dry a little bit more. Worst case, I'll just hook a chain up to the excavator. Oh, I'm almost getting dropped on. Hook a chain up to the excavator, get the trailer picked up, drag it out here to the road. And it's a rubber track excavator, so <laughs> that's a wood deck. I don't want to slide off of it by any chance, you know. Too much of a slope. But I'll get it pulled out of here, get the bucket, second bucket on it. And I guess I'm just going to end up having to use a shovel and good old school manual, manual labor. <laughs> Unless I buy a piece of equipment, but that stuff's expensive. I don't know. Do any of you guys own equipment out here and uh middle tennessee sort of area down by the tennessee river out of clifton's the closest town feel free to reach out to me i might have uh some work for you to do it's really pretty the sun's peeking through in a lot of these trees and stuff and it just gives a nice view Let's see if we can get you turned up here might be too bright look at my nose hairs yeah what happens when you get old and gray 
You can hear the birds, chirpy chirpies. Here's one thing. There's so much trash out here, especially on this road. It's just ridiculous. So I spent quite a bit of time cleaning it up, but I got a lot more to do. But I'm gonna do that with my manual labor time. <laughs> yeah, manual labor. And I'm gonna prune up some of these trees too. I'm gonna get the, the branches cut up, get them a little bit higher. Use my little saw that I got and uh, start to make this really look like a home. If I can get the, <laughs> the rock and the fill dirt and everything else delivered for me as quick as possible, then I can actually start building on the actual building itself. But until then, I'm going to do what I can do. And yeah, that's it. We'll see you guys in a little bit when I start loading this thing up. Alrighty, we let it dry up just a little bit for it. I got the truck down here. We'll see how slippery these tires want to be. But hey, they're golden. I got some local help. Howdy. This is Levi. Say hi, Levi. Say it again. Hi, guys. But I'm going to try to get this trailer up, get the excavator out of here. Let's see what happens, right? Let's see if we can get it hooked up and make it work. Harbor Freight, $4.99. Could have used in the crowbar. Got it off. You ever had these on there? Oh, it's a lifesaver down here because people walk off with your shit. Really? Yeah, meth heads, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I was actually They'll surprised. They'll take your copper to put in their stuff because they sold their shit a long time ago because <laughs> it's hot. I was actually quite surprised that no one actually messed with mine since this has been out here. I'd probably put it all in the truck because it's not going to be moving. We're going to be picking the trailer up. Just a little back up. Well, it's going to fall on the trailer. I know that. got a feeling we're going to be slanging some mud.
not much mud. Oh well. <laughs> in my truck. It's off. Yeah. You don't have a uh, lowerable hitch, do you? A what? A lowerable hitch. Uh, no, I don't. That was...
That ain't going nowhere. That's a rule. You have to sit here and say it won't go nowhere or it'll go somewhere. Anna from Arizona. A good old Arizona boy dust done did that. Did you see that, guys? It's like, yes, I'm a champion. Champion! <laughs> Yeah, we can't crisscross applesauce it because it doesn't want to do. But I think if I go forward some more, yeah, I'll just go forward some more. That way, these will. Look how bright and sunny and beautiful it is today. So I just got a call and during that call, I was like, hey man, you, you got some rock. Where do you want this at? And I was like, well, nobody's called me to tell me that they're bringing me rock. You know, I was expecting it last week. And uh, lo <laughs> and behold, we've got rock there. We got two more loads. Chad Levi again. Hi guys. We got two more over there. So, I'm not sure if these are one or two dumps. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna stick around a little bit because they said they're gonna bring me six loads. This to me looks about maybe one dump truck a piece. I don't know, we'll see when the next one dumps. What do you think, Levi? I think they brought you a lot of rock with no baseline. Well, this is my fill. <laughs> this is my fill rock dirt. I'm just gonna, we're gonna build a fire pit with the excess. Fire pits are where it's at. You can hear these guys are coming right around the bend. Looks like I got some more rock. Ready to begin. Ready to begin. Oh shit, they're all in the line. What have I got? Looks like they sent all the forces.
Well, when it's on, it's on, because we just got six loads of chert in like 30 minutes. Now, I just need to find somebody to come spread it for me now that I don't have the excavator to do it, because that was the original plan. Spend a week spreading chert. So we should be able to encompass all of our drive back here and then whatever I need out on the pad site. And then I'll go ahead and order in uh, some more rock, some uh, topper rock. This is just the base. Alrighty, today we're gonna go see what is finalized with the pad site, with the road in, with the road out. Donnie uh, talked to him late last night, brought him back over here. Actually, he recommended that I come back over here and we go over exactly what I was looking for. And which is awesome. So if you need some excavating out here in the Clifton area, you make sure to reach out to Donnie's backhoe and I think excavating service. If not, get a hold of me. I'll go ahead and put a message right there in line. And we're gonna come out to the property right now. I'm right down the road from it. Figured I'd start before and you guys get to see exactly what I get to see when I roll up. Here we are coming up to the turn. Oh, we've got a driveway. Look at that. It's got me a little bit of a lift, keep the drainage out. Oh, look at this turning radius right here in parking spots. Beautiful. I'll be able to get my fifth wheel in nice. Oh, look at that. We got a road out. Still for the roundabout. Woo, woo. Oh, and there's my raindrop stop. Perfect. Look at that. Nice. Real nice. 